sure you're probably wondering, who is this lady in Myra's person? Well, I've been thinking about it and how I was going to approach just explaining who I am and, and what I do and what I like. Uh, so I've seen on, uh, on YouTube this uh, 77 uh, um, question challenge and I thought, oh, that might be a, a nice way of doing it. So that's what I've decided to do. Uh, I'll be looking down uh, and reading and hopefully I won't take too long. Um, so we'll have a little bit of a bit of a look see and uh, hopefully you'll have a little bit more insight as to who I am. All right, so question number one. Do you use runes as a written language? No, I don't. Uh, I have a hard enough time with English most of the time, but uh, no, I use runes for divination. I like uh, the casting of the runes and I use them um, with sigils, uh, incorporating them into sigil magic uh, or putting them into, uh, carving them onto candles and, and whatnot. But no, I don't use them as a written language. Uh, number two, do you feel you have a uh, natural gift such as premonition, hearing spirits? And if so, do you think this is what led you uh, to this path? Uh, I think I do have a natural gift. Uh, I do see uh, spirits. Sorry about that, I am outside. Um, I do see spirits, uh, mainly animal spirits more than, uh, than, than the human kind. I have a, a lot of animal spirits around me, but um, so I, I do see that. I do have a bit of, uh, bit of premonition going on as well. Um, so that's just uh, part of my day-to-day -day, uh, working. Um, no, it didn't lead me to the path. Um, other things led me to the path. Um, so um, I think that's one of the questions down there. So um, we'll, we'll move on. Um, what deity do you uh, work with, if any, and why? Um, I've worked with quite a few deities in my time. Um, I like to work with um, Isis for a while, um, and I have worked with Hecate, I've worked with Keridwin, um at different different times um, and for different different reasons, different, um, different work. Um, my idea of deity um, is probably a little bit different to, to, to someone else. I think of deity as um, both male and female. Um, I think of uh, it is as the, the creative force, which is both male and female. So uh, for specific things, I will go to the person that um, has the, the most knowledge. So if I'm, I'm working with um, certain kind of uh, magics, then I'll, I'll uh, talk to Isis. Um, if I'm working for something that is to do with, uh, say, more child uh, rearing childbirth, then maybe Juno would be who I would uh, talk to. Um, but uh, it is the, the essence and the power of, of that uh, deity that I'm, I'm working with um, that I'm asking for. So. Have you always worked with the same deity? Well, uh, I think I probably explained that in, in question four. So, no, I haven't. Um, I don't. I have uh, Isis, who is uh, my, I don't know, you could say, who's my matron um, goddess, but um, she's not, uh, she's not, uh, what would you say, uh, clingy. Uh, she doesn't mind if I work with other, other deities. Do you use any personal items in your practice, blood, semen, tears, urine, etc.? Uh, yes, witchcraft is messy. Uh, so, uh, yes, I have. I've used, um, I've used urine, I've used um, nail, nail clippings, hair, um, sweat, um, I've used blood at some, at some point. Uh, so, yes, I've, I've used it all. Uh, do you... Do you do past life readings or have you ever had one done? Um, who were you um, and how did you die? Uh, no, I don't do past life readings. I've never had one, but I did have uh, a reoccurring dream when I was younger that I was in World War I in the trenches and uh, I went over the trench and one of my fellow comrades shot me in the back by accident and um, I watched myself die and that was a, a reoccurring dream I had for quite a quite a while as a child 
Um, so maybe I was a soldier in World War, <laughs> World War One. Um, other than that, no. I think I think most people who have a past life thing it's that cliche of I was Cleopatra or or someone wonderful and famous. Um, not many people like to say that they're they were the baker um, down the street or, or something like that. So. Um, and it always, it's always nice to, to have that whole mystical thing of, oh yes, in the past life I was a witch. Maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. But, um, and maybe I was a soldier who happened to be a witch at the same time. Who knows? Your favourite magical tool? Um, again, I could, be, I could be trite and say myself. Um, I am the magical tool. Um, my favourite tool, if I'm doing um, doing a spell obviously would be a candle that's usually the go-to one because it's easy and it's and um, everyone has some kind of candle in their house whether it's uh, just the, the normal plain white candles when the power goes out or, or you know, there's, there's colored candles so uh, candles are quite versatile and, and um, would be a go-to when it comes to um, ritual work What type of song or music gets you into a witchy mood? Oh, okay. Quite a, uh, again, I'm a bit um, eclectic when it comes to music. I like lots of different music. I like um, rock. I like um, I like some pop. Um, but um, witchy music. I like Omnia. Um, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Uh, they've got some lovely, lovely tracks. And I like Wendy Rule. She's an Australian artist, so I like. Uh, going with the Australians um, but I also like um, some songs by Tool they usually get me into a little bit of a, a little bit of a mood just to hype up the energy um, so yeah whatever whatever it is that, that's needed where it's a love um, where is the most magical place you have ever been um, I've been to Stonehenge that was really really nice I did find that that was quite mag magical um, and I have been to the pyramids uh, and that um, I, it wasn't as magical as I would like but I think I think I was just picking up on the energy around around me the people around me more than um, more than the actual pyramids themselves um, the awe inspiring the most magical place that I've been would have been there was a little creek down the bottom of um, the house that I lived in when I was a child and I would go down there and um, that was the most magical place because uh, there was a running little running stream and um, you, know, you could be a fairy, you could be, um, you could be a knight, you could be anything, that was, that was the most magical place and, and you could feel it in the air, that it was as if when you came down to play that the whole area was, was excited that you were back. So that was, I think, off the top of my head, that's one of the most magical places that I've ever been. What animal is your familiar, if any? Uh, I did have a familiar. Um, she was um, she was my cat, um, Tara. I had her for for twenty years, and uh, she died um, last year. So um, yeah. Um, I haven't had another familiar since then, and um, the next question, um, if you do have a familiar, did they they choose you? Um, no, she was, she was uh, a, a, like, almost like a rescue because uh, someone um, had some kittens and they were trying to get rid of them, so um, I took one of them off. Of their hands, um, I think it's just the fact that we've been together for <laughs> for 20 years, and um, and uh, she just liked to, to be with me and, and do do things with me. So um, I don't not so much whether maybe we chose each other. Who knows? Um, what in the craft are you best at? Tarot, spells, rituals. Uh, I would say probably spells and rituals are my my best thing that, I, that I'm good at. Uh, I can probably pop out a ritual um, pretty quickly without, um, without much uh, effort and um, at a pitch I'm, I'm pretty good at ad-libbing so um, you know I've got, a, I've got a few tools in my in my bag and I can I can pull them out um, if need be 
because I've been doing it for, for a while. So probably spells and spells and rituals. What in the craft would you say that you are weaker at? Um, I would say the tarot would be something that I'm, I'm weak at. Um, I like tarot cards and I like I like the look of tarot cards and I like to meditate with tarot cards, but I'm not really good when it comes to, say, doing um, a divination with tarot. Um, um, and uh, yeah, so tarot. What in the craft would you say? Oh, I've already read that one. Um, what is the most your most favourite part of your craft? Spell writing, divination. Um, the most favourite part is the doing. It's not so much in the writing or the the crafting. It's the actual the actual movement of energy. Um, when you when you um, doing a spell or you're doing a ritual and you're you're moving that energy around, that's my that's my favourite part. Um, making change, affecting change, not not so much. I do enjoy it, but not so much the little nitty gritty little bits of, of writing. Um, it's actually the doing that I enjoy. Um, what was your first purchase tool you ever got? My first purchase tool. I'm not sure. I would probably say that I maybe a thurble would be my first or a sensor, something to put your, your incense in would be my first tool that I purchased. Um, yeah, most of my other ones I would uh, it would be um, a makeshift something that I've made or um, put together, but that would probably be my first the first thing that I ever purchased. 